Graduating from high school means the doors to exciting opportunities are finally open. Some may choose to continue studying, while others may decide to go straight into the world of work. At this pivotal stage in your life, you need to make decisions to spend your time wisely, so you capitalize on your youth, and to spend your money wisely to capitalize on time. When you're young, your biggest asset is time. Meet Dex. Dex is an average 23-year-old who has just got his first full-time job. Dex is so excited about earning a salary and can't wait to spend it. He thinks of all the different ways he can spend his money, cars, clothes, shoes and his girlfriend. But he never thinks about how to make his money earn money. Luckily for Dex, his workplace cares about staff financial well-being and gives free financial advice to new employees like Dex. The company sets up a meeting between Dex and a financial advisor, Carl. Dex gets the following advice from Carl. It pays to start saving early. That way you can take full advantage of the effect of compound interest. Money loses value over time, so this makes it more beneficial to have it sooner rather than later. 100 rand in hand today is worth more than 100 rand in a year's time due to inflation and other factors. 100 rand today can be used to invest and earn interest or capital gains. It's not only the amount of money you save that counts, but also the time you have available to start saving. The earlier you start, the more reasonable the amount of money you need to save each month will be. Carl's advice to Dex is to start saving as soon as he starts earning, rather than waiting until he's older. To help Dex understand the importance of saving from an early age, Carl asks him to imagine the following two situations. Suppose Portia starts saving for retirement at the age of 25 by contributing 1,500 rand per month at an average interest rate of 6.6% per year into a retirement annuity. She plans to retire at 65. Without accounting for inflation adjusted increases in contributions, she will end up with over 3.5 million rand. 3 million 521,510 rand. Dave, on the other hand, delays saving for retirement until the age of 35 and starts saving in the same year as Portia started saving by contributing 1,500 rand per month at an average interest rate of 6.6% per year into a retirement annuity. He plans to retire at 65. Without accounting for inflation adjusted increases in contributions, he will end up with just over 1.6 million rand, 1,691,879 rand. By delaying saving for retirement by 10 years, Dave will end up with 1.8 million rand less than Portia has when he's ready to retire. This is about half the amount she will be able to save. He would have to more than double his monthly contribution to end up with the same amount as Portia. If Dave started even later, say at age 40, he would need to make a monthly contribution of more than four times as much as Portia's in order to get the same amount as her. So by reducing the time of an investment, you diminish the impact of compound growth. By following Portia's example, you too will be able to save a whole lot more by starting early. You have to save for retirement as soon as you are able to, even if it seems a million years away.